Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Discovery Modding Tutorial. In this video, we will be teaching you the basics of Meta. Meta allows users to modify or extend the WWE 2K files with the file extension JSFB, short for JSON Flat Buffer. If we open Kate View and peek inside the roster folder, you will see various JSFB files. Meta will detail which JSFB files are supported. Alternatively, we have a channel in the Discovery Discord labeled Completed under Deserialization. This is because every JSFB is designed differently and requires unique decoding, which Meta will handle. Circling back to Cake View, select the Face Textures.jsfb file. Then, Export. We navigate to the dummy folder for data. Making sure we have a roster folder, remembering that we're replicating the folder structure from Cakeview, export into this folder. Open Meta. Proceed with File, Open, JSFB. Locate the face textures.jsfb that you previously exported. Select it and press Open. Meta will deserialize the JSFB. Deserialize means translating stored data into a human readable format. To see the decoded data, we click Export JSON. Navigate to your WWE 2K24 installation folder, create a meta folder if you don't already have one, and press Save. You'll be asked if you'd like meta to watch your JSON file. In this case, we say yes. If your configuration file already contains the same JSFB that you opened, it will ask you if you want to update the location of your soon-to-be exported JSON file. This is useful if you move files around. In the log, you'll now see that Meta is watching your exported JSON file for any changes that you make to it. Open Visual Studio Code. Then, do File, Open File, navigate to where you exported your JSON file, in this case the Meta folder, select the JSON file, and Open. You'll now be presented with the human readable format of facetextures.jsfb. This file in particular contains every possible render for your game. You have complete creative freedom to make changes to this file. Syntax, the arrangement of data, is strict. Because Meta is watching your JSON file, if we make changes to one of the renders, you will receive a notification from Meta in the bottom right corner informing you that it has serialized. Serialized means turning your human readable format, the JSON, back into compressed bytes that WWE 2K24 can read. To summarize, it has gone from JSON to JSFB, overriding your old JSFB, which is located in your dummy data folder previously. Open Cake View, then proceed to bake your dummy data folder. When you next load up the game, those changes that you made will take effect. This same process applies to every JSFB, and you must have every JSFB open and meta for it to serialize. Be sure to check out Discovery on X at x.com slash dot underscore discovery. That's D-O-T underscore discovery. Discord at discord.gg slash dot discovery. And if you're interested in supporting what we do here at Discovery, our Patreon is patreon.com slash dot discovery. Links are in the description.